Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Razr from 2022 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this phone. So let's get started by opening up our settings and navigating to the display where we will find a couple things that I want to show you. So number one we have the dark theme which is uh, right here you have the visible toggle which can turn it on. Now by turning it on, uh, you actually gain some benefits in terms of battery life because this is a AMOLED or OLED display, which means that all the pixels right here, the fully like black ones are turned off. And because they're turned off, they don't need to consume energy to light up. Uh, other devices that don't use something like an OLED display don't have this kind of luxury because they have just like a panel that keeps on lighting up all the pixels even if they're like the color that they're showing is black, but not here. Uh, but also you can tap on the text and this will allow you to change it to be a scheduled uh, dark mode, meaning that you can set it up. So after, <clears throat> after uh, sunset, you can have it to switch to dark mode, which obviously when it's dark, uh, dark mode might be just a little bit more convenient it won't be singeing your irises with this like pure white light and the display right here gets pretty bright so it's a pretty beneficial thing to maybe have while still uh, during like direct sunlight outside you might want to have it in light mode which personally I find it easier to see uh, when it's like super sunny outside but anyway going back into the display section we have also right here a colors option so by default we have it set to saturated but if you find that the saturated uh, version right here is a little bit overdone a little bit too saturated you can select it to be natural which tones down the colors and makes them a little bit more realistic which is what I personally prefer so that's what I'm gonna stick with right here and moving on to the last option in here is the display refresh rate which is set to 60 I don't know if this is the default option I don't think so but if it is, I would probably recommend to set it to auto. This will give you a nice battery animation, like refresh rate on uh, whatever you do when you're scrolling up or down. And when you stop doing whatever, so if you have a stationary image like this one right now, it will switch back to, I believe, 60 or maybe even lower. And this will preserve your battery life um, in the long run compared to like running it always at 120 hertz. Uh, and obviously it gives you the benefit of having this nice smooth motion when you're scrolling up and down or doing something really fast. Now moving on to the next thing that I want to show. Uh, it's actually going to be somewhere else apart from the display. So let's scroll down to system and in here you'll find gestures. Now under gestures I have basically the rest of the things that I wanted to show you. So. Uh, there are a couple things that are already turned off which you might want to turn off if you don't want so as an example one of them would be fast flashlight i personally do like it uh, do i like it more when it's on a power button instead of this way where it's just shaking it so it is enabled by default turn flashlight on or off with uh, two chops so you can just close this right now come on ah there we go So if, I don't know, for you maybe the flashlight is turning on randomly, which is possible, you might want to turn it off. Um, and this is, it looks like the only option of having it enabled by just a shake. Some other phones, for instance, like right here, I can just press the power button to launch it, which is a more beneficial in my opinion, but still a nice, uh, nice thing to have as a, you know, a fast way of enabling a flashlight instead of, you know, unlocking your device, swiping down, finding the toggle and doing all that. Now going back into the gestures, we had a couple additional ones like system navigation, which is something that I personally prefer to change to gesture navigation. If you have never used it, I highly recommend it. It removes the buttons from the bottom and substitutes them for just gesture navigation. Meaning if you want to go home now, you just swipe up. If you want to go into your recent application, you swipe up and hold. And if you want to go back, you can swipe from either side of the display like so. So there we go. And going back into the gestures, we had also a couple additional options in here, like double press power key to launch camera. You can also change it to launch assistant or do nothing if you don't want that at all. 
Um, we have wake display by tapping on it. Um, one-handed mode, which is disabled. So if you want to have one-handed mode, you can enable it. And then, which way is it? Right here, full screen. Wait, how do I do this? Whatever. Um, you can kind of go and try to figure it out. Uh, honestly, I'm not really interested in figuring this one out. But yeah, anyway, we can see that there is a couple additional options that you can mess around. And if you find some gestures that might be annoying you, uh, because for the most part, most of them are enabled. So if you find ones that just don't really vibe with you, you can disable them. But anyway, with this being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.